Good morning, class. I'm Jess. I'm David. This is Eric. And this Eric. is Trent, our synchronized swimmers. So today, we are going to synchronize the skills we taught you last week with the new skills of the backstroke. Now, Eric is going to recap some of those skills that we learned and go over safety pool rules. All right, guys, I'm Eric. I'm your synchronized swimmer. And um, before uh, I recap what we did last week, I just want to reemphasize the pool safety rules that we went over last week. Just to remember that this is in our pool and this is Westmont's facility and to respect it and take care of it as much as possible. So to recap what we did last week, we separated and split up the freestyle into two different parts, the legs and the arms. So for the leg aspect, we just want you guys to remember that you're initiating your kick from your hip and not from your knees. Because if you initiate from the knees, it's going to be a big bicycle kick and you're going to go nowhere. And then just to remember that your feet are going to bubble the surface without breaking it. Um, so you decrease the amount of drag you have. Well, I'm out of breath. <coughs> and then <laughs> for the second part was the arms. And in the arms, remember to keep your out oh, or your thumbs to your armpits. When you swim, it's drag your fingertips across the water. One point of emphasis that we as teachers really wanted to emphasize was that your head goes where your body goes. So if you're swimming, and like Trent demonstrated for us, your head goes up out of the water, your legs are gonna sink, and it's gonna create a lot of drag. But if your head's going down, your legs are gonna come up, and when your legs come up, you're gonna be splashing too much, and again, there's a lot of drag. So we just wanna emphasize that with every swimming stroke, your body's gonna go where your head goes. Um, so yeah, um, now Trent is gonna lead us in a warm up. All right guys, we're gonna get on up and get warmed up before we start the lesson for today. So um, take your shoes off, get your goggles, whatever you need to do, and then come on over to the pool, and Eric and Jessica are gonna assign you lane lines. Um, yes, you're getting it. So lane line outside the pool. Lane two is Haley, Bob, and Matthew. Lane three is Brenna and Carlos. Lane four is Grace, Justin, and Noah. Lane five is Mila, Reggie, and Ellie. And lane six is Marta, Jordan, and Marissa. If you don't remember what lane number, just ask me and I'll tell you. today um, but before we do that I just want to give you a chance to get acclimated to the water so as last week um, went we are gonna dunk ourselves under and <laughs> count for three seconds and then come on back up we're gonna do that twice just so we're all in the water together and experiencing it so let's go ahead and start oh, no. Good job, everybody. So before the lesson really gets started with learning new material, um, I kind of wanted to start with a little bit of a warm up. And last week we did it on the pool deck. This week we're going to be doing it in the water, uh, so you have more time practicing the techniques that we learned and getting ready for more material today. So before any of the freestyle stuff, I want to start just with some arm circles, just nice and easy, going backwards. Get those shoulders warmed up. And then switch, we're going forwards. Good. All right, down. And for the next exercise, we're going to be doing a little bit of wall kicking. 
Um, so for the groups of three, you might need to switch off a little bit. Um, so recapping that, we're going to be holding on the edge of the wall, keeping the body nearly horizontal, um, feet just below the water, and we're kicking, initiating from the hip while we're creating soft bubbles, but we're not splashing. So That's you guys can go. Bubbles, not a splash. So you may start. Oh, we got real. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> yeah, try not to break the surface. Good job, Jay and Blake, you're doing great. Alright, 10 you. seconds. Nine. Keep going. Eight. Keep going. Oh, oh. Seven. Come on, six. six. Much affirmation. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Relax. Alright, good job, everybody. Um, for the next exercise, we're going to be doing the entire stroke that we covered last week, so the freestyle, and um, we're going to be coming down to the halfway point in the pool, and then heading back, and I want to really emphasize um, breathing on every third stroke, so if you guys remember that from last week, and then as well as kicking from the hip, and keeping bubbles but not splashing, so let's go ahead and get that started, and we'll for the first portion of this, we're going to be doing two laps each. So go ahead and get started. Go whenever. Yep. Stuff, everybody, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, before we move on, I would like to ask Carlos to demonstrate. <laughs> I really like his stroke, he's doing a lot of really good things. So just come on down here. You don't have to go the whole halfway mark and then things are back. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
So where the head goes, the body follows, and then if you'll notice, when he's spinning, he's keeping his thumb nice and close to the armpit. It's very efficient. Kicking looks good, so good job, Carlos. All right, good job, everybody. And now Jessica is going to be introducing the new stroke for today and kind of getting you guys used to that. So today we're learning backstroke. Now, what is backstroke? Backstroke is a basic swimming technique that is used to build confidence in the water. It's often used um, as a stroke for recovery when you're doing freestyle or other strokes for long distances. Now, backstroke is what it name, what the name indicates. You're floating on your back with your head up, resting like a pillow on the water, and your eyes should be focused on your toes and you engage kicking that we learned last week, flutter kicking with bubbles and also your arms. And backstroke engages your lower body and your glutes, tightening your core while you engage the strength of your upper back muscles and your lats, pulling your shoulders together. So the key for backstroke is balancing and posture. And now Trent and Eric are going to demonstrate the full backstroke for you guys to see. Alright, better we can just turn around and face this way. Alright, so this is basically the start of the backstroke is the kicking. So, and remember in freestyle, what do we want to initiate our kick from? The hip. Yeah. Our hips, that is 100% correct. Okay, so for the backstroke kick, I think the main thing to focus on is you're not breaking the surface and we're focusing, we're kicking up as opposed to kicking down like that. We're kicking up towards the surface of the water. So it's going to be up, 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 up. And we're initiating from our hips. And an important thing is to keep your body in a nice straight line so you're not going all over the place. And I know it's hard with backstroke because obviously you can't really see where you're going. And a good way to kind of help you make sure that you're going in a good direction is to keep your kicks going straight up and down, not out, not wherever, OK? So yeah. So keep your chin up and with the kicks, just remember, you're always initiating from your hips and you should not break the surface of the water. We're trying to make splashes, not bubbles. Sorry, the other way around. Bubbles, <laughs> not splashes. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah. That was good. All right, now we're going to reach for the ground kickboard. So one kickboard per group, we're going to switch off. Oh, Eric's going to demonstrate first. And Jess. Yes. So we're going to demonstrate what it's supposed to look like. So you're going to have your hands on the side of the board like this and it's going to be held over with your shoulders to your ears and you're going to be lying on your back and kicking. Notice the bubbles, not splashes, they're kicking up towards the water, not down. Yeah, so you, this is going to be your flotation device, like the freestyle. Yeah, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to, you want to pretty much be parallel when you fall back because if you if this thing dips in it's not going to really keep you afloat so this we want this to be on the surface um, parallel to the surface and it's best to have your hands in the middle of the board too that helps position your body so you can balance out better do you guys have any questions about this uh, we're, yeah, we're gonna go halfway down and back. Once it, just once? Uh, we'll go once and then, yeah, we'll go once. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> All right, go for it, one at a time. Short <laughs> 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 
Stand up, it's gonna help a lot. I think Erica had something really valuable to say when it came to um, something just to imagine when it comes to um, holding the board. Erica, can you repeat that for us, please? Wait, repeat what? The whole baby thing. Oh, I was joking, but <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was doing it wrong. No, you're doing it right. Wait, holding it up like if you're trying to save a baby. Yeah, so <laughs> if, you, if you dip the board in, it's not going to be a protein right. device. So that was actually really good. You, like, imagine like the top is the baby's head with but you still want to keep the neck in the water because it'll make it lighter. Um, but another thing I saw is just make sure to keep your arms straight. A lot of you guys are trying to kick like this. So make sure you keep your arms straight because when you're doing the backstroke, your arms aren't, you're not going to be going backwards with your arms, with your elbows flexed. You want to try to keep them as straight as possible. And one thing I also want to emphasize is that the head's going to go where the body goes. So if you're, if you're trying to look up and like, you're gonna, your body's gonna start going perpendicular to the water. Um, but if you try to look too far back to see where you're going, you're just gonna start sinking. So, yeah, let's try that again. We'll give you guys two laps this time. Also, help each other out. I saw Blake was giving Erica pointers, and that's really helpful too because we can't see what everyone's doing. So, look at what each other's doing, give each other advice.
kicking so next step is obviously the arms um, but before we get started I just kind of want to explain that we're going to be using the pool buoys again just we, as we did with freestyle so David here is going to demonstrate how to use it just like that squeezing it between the legs so that's going to help keep your legs floated while providing a tactile cue so you're not going to be kicking while we're working on this new part of the stroke and so David's doing a really good job demonstrating the arms there and so if you guys will look at him, notice how when he comes out of the water, he's flexing his shoulder. He's leading with his thumb. 
<laughs> it's almost like a string pulling his arm out of the water. And then he's entering the water with his pinky coming down, reaching as far back as he can, grabbing water and forcing it behind him. So it's almost like a grab and pull, grab and pull. And you're going to get a little bit of rotation through your spine there too. That's great. Um, one more thing I want to add is that when you're flexing here, bring your arm over your head, you want to keep it nice and close to your ear. Keep your body streamlined, hydrodynamic. So that's going to be very efficient too. <laughs> so before we move on to the practice, um, Jessica and Eric are both going to demonstrate for you guys. Before we move on to the practice, any questions about this stroke? No? Nope. Alright, so to start out with, um, we're just going to be doing two laps halfway down to the end of the pool and back, and you guys can go ahead and get started with that. You can put the pool buoy either between your thighs or you can put it between your ankles. First of all, right. Okay, so you're That's more of a thing where as you 
when you, the more you practice, the more your arms will go in the same spot every single time. Because the reason why you go, you know, the back of the line is you go, your arm might go here, put four around, and you do that way. Like, you know, you practice it, you know, Good job, everybody. It's looking really good. A um, couple things that I'm noticing though is one, there's a lot of splashing going on, especially with the arms coming back. So we want to enter the water nice and softly and not create these big splashes behind us. It's going to be much more efficient that way. Um, another thing is you have the pool buoys for a reason to help float your legs. Um, and so I don't want to see a lot of kicking. We want to just be holding those legs nice and stable through this entire thing. Um, and then Another thing is, Grace had a really good stroke, and if she wouldn't mind demonstrating, uh, that would be awesome. Grace! 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 Nice, Grace. Something Grace does really well is her eye contact. She doesn't have her chin tucked all the way down like I noticed a lot of you were because that causes your eyes to look down too and then your legs go down so you're almost at a slant in the water. She's able to keep her body floating parallel. So you should try to focus your eyes maybe around your toes, not up at the sky or completely down in the water. And then one other thing that I have to add is I could freestyle when you guys were first on the arms. I've seen a lot of slapping of the water. And the same thing when you're going back here, the back of your hand is just slapping the water. So you guys are getting your hands in the water, but you're not really moving anywhere because it's not very hydrodynamic, like Chuck said. Um, so make sure your pinkies are going into the water first, and then you're scooping yourself backwards. Chunk. Yeah. Before we move on, any questions? No? Yeah. Sure. So a lot of pools will have like flags above the lane lines, and obviously that's not the case here. Um, so one thing that I like, would like to point out is kind of using your peripheral vision and kind of getting a guide of where the lane lines are, and it's it's not going to be perfect. Um, but that should have some reference for you. And then keep in mind that where your head goes, your body follows. So trying to keep that as straight as possible and your body will continue to do it as well. Also, it just, it's, just, it's just a matter of practice as well. You know, you're not gonna be, we're not gonna be perfect here in one session of backstroke. It's just a matter of keep practicing because after a while, your arms are gonna, it's gonna have the muscle memory of your arms are gonna go in the same spot. Flowing in the same spot, you're, you're leading with your thumb, leading with your pinky every single time. And once that time comes, you'll find yourself. But you kind of learned it during your freestyle last week, so keep those basic skills in mind when you're transferring it to the backstroke. So, like I said before, you don't want your body vertical in the water, you want it parallel, floating on your back in that streamlined position. And you should be focusing on your legs, doing small flutter kicks engaging those lower muscles at the hip. And with your arms, what's really helpful is to have them fully extended, almost as though you're reaching back to hit a wall, and have your thumb rotate like it's being pulled with a string, but your pinky is what enters the water first. And to highlight what I said before, you really want to focus having your head resting on top of the surface of the water, water as though you're resting your head on the pillow and you want your eyes looking down at your toes, not up at the sky, and not down in the water. So your body will maintain that parallel resting position on the water. Now, if you guys would like to try this, piecing it all together with those helpful tips in mind, you can do a couple laps there and back. All the way there? 
through that full range of motion, so that's something you can keep in mind as well. And one thing to add is that um, I know a lot of you guys are getting really tired. Um, just make sure you breathe because I can see that a lot of you guys are holding your breath while you're doing this. Remember, you're not underwater, not in the <laughs> time. So you guys are able to breathe. So make sure you guys just make sure you guys take deep breaths and don't hold your water while you're going backwards. That'll, that'll help you be less tired when you double push. So now, if you guys want to try it again one more time, halfway. One lap. Go for it. One more. Thank you, but no thank you. Oh my gosh. You make me look So we're going to have a little relay race here. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, what? So, <laughs> so what we're going to do is you're going to do the freestyle down halfway, and then you're going to backstroke back, tag the next person, and they're going to go. What if we're just two people? <laughs> so if you're two people, Trent's going, going to join you guys. Oh. You better be fast. What? <laughs> oh, I'm fast. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Okay. Um, I'll leave to the halfway point. I'll join this. I'll join this. Oh, Jordan will go twice. All right, perfect. Wait, there's... No, no. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so you guys are going to go halfway down and back. How did I not notice that? How did I not notice that? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm a terrible teacher. I'm just going to start. I don't know. Okay, okay. So you guys, is everyone ready? I'm going to give you guys like, 10 seconds to figure out who you want to go first, second, and last. You guys already figured out? Alright. Ready. Set. Go. Go, go, go. Thank <laughs> you. 
six is the winner. Give me that. Lane one. Lane one is the winner. All right, guys. So one thing I want you guys to remember, yeah, this is fun. You guys are trying to go fast, but I really want to stress the technique about this. Um, try not to splash too much because that will slow you down a lot. Um, yes, you're going a little faster and being a little more powerful, but it will slow you down. So if you want to win in these types of things, you have to be hydrodynamic. <laughs> wow! <laughs> hydrodynamic. Um, so we have a little bit of time left, yeah. so that was just our practice round. <laughs> it was over. We're going to go again. So I'll just do you want me to you can take Mike. You can take Mike. Uh, so I'll give you guys another 30 seconds of rest and kind of recover and just think about how you're going to do this properly. Wait, really? Think about what Eric said with efficiency. Try not to splash as much because that will help with your speed. No. Okay. Yeah, 15 seconds. Take a little breather. You want to go into the back? What did you say? All right, we're starting in five, four, three, two, one, go! Go, 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 go! Okay! Okay! Come on! Come on! Lane six, I'm going to start. Yeah, initiate the kick with your hips. Yep, yep. What are we doing with our head? Our chin is up. Yep, brush your shoulder against your ear. Yeah, so all those things, once you put them together, it's just all about being efficient, all right? Just as Jess and Eric and Trent are always stressing in the pool, all right? So just throw those key points. What do we got tomorrow? Or not tomorrow, Thursday. That's good. Do you guys have any questions about the backstroke? Like, any technical questions? Yes, Mila. Do you know what the world record is for backstroke? I do not know, but yes, I'll look it up and I'll get back to you guys next class <laughs> period. Are, are we going to learn like a flip turn? Or? Yeah, how do we turn? That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> to be continued. Yeah. Is that what it's called? Yes, yes. flip turn. Yes. 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 We're going to swing the full way. We can, if you would like. We have a couple minutes left. Oh, no, not today. Oh, okay. <laughs> not today. 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 It'd be nice if our lifeguard could stay on top of that. But, uh, I think she would enjoy that as well. So we're going to try to get you guys more comfortable before we swim the whole way down to that. Because it is a long 25, 25 yards. Any other questions? <laughs> All right, you guys did a great job today. Thank you for coming out here. Good job.